Hi everyone, it's Sheila and happy Sunday to you. I hope you all are having a fantastic Easter Sunday. I have had a great one so far. Um, in San Antonio, the weather's been somewhat cooperative. They said it was going to rain all day today and it hasn't. Knock on wood, so far so good. The sun has been coming in and out. Uh, the weather is not really warm, but it's not really um, cold either. So it's been a great day so far. I decided today that I wanted to do a video. It's been quite a while since I've done one. Uh, no excuses, no explanation. I just haven't done one. So um, I retired my Louis Vuitton bag. I am going to dedicate a video totally on the Louis Vuitton, the whole Louis Vuitton thing and everything like that, which I still do love my bag very, very much. Uh, no doubt about it. Um, but um, I carried it pretty much for one full year and I decided that I really needed to give it a break. So that being said, um, I don't know. I think I may have mentioned this on YouTube before, but what I ended up doing uh, prior to getting my Louis Vuitton is I kind of like cleaned out my closet. Like I got rid of a lot of handbags. I had Dooney and Bork. I had Coach. I had, you know, um, just several, several bags that were, you know, not the high end, high end dollar bags, but they were high end bags. So I needed to, you know, reserve the money for, you know, purchasing my Louis Vuitton bag as well as just they were purses sitting in my closet doing absolutely nothing for me. So I sold a lot of those and um, yeah, so I ended up getting my Louis Vuitton. That's another whole story. So anyway, um, I set out kind of like, you know, I need to have a replacement bag. I love the Brahmin bags a lot and I have a Michael Kors that I have been holding on to that I really, really like. I got it last summer I believe or like kind of like the spring of last year maybe or no I guess it was year before last because I've had my Louis Vuitton for a year and I do love that bag so so much but um yeah that was really like the only bags I had left so I was kind of thinking wow I mean you know I can't have no purses in my closet that's just not heard of and because I've been so focused on my Louis Vuitton I just really hadn't worried about it but Anyway, I decided that I needed to find myself a purse. Well, I went to TJ Maxx because I do like TJ Maxx as far as like they do have some really cool purses and they have a lot of nice leather bags. And um, I have another high, high end bag that I am setting my eyesight on or I have set my eyesight on. But reality is, is that it's going to be a while before I can purchase that bag. So um, I decided that I was going to go ahead and look for something a little bit more comparable to do me for right now. And so I found something at TJ Maxx and I did post it on Instagram. It was a Ralph Lauren bag, but I ended up taking it back when I found the bag that I'm going to talk to you about today, mainly because one, I'm not really into Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren to me is so yesterday. And I don't mean that negatively. It's just that back in the day, I wore a Ralph Lauren cologne. And, you know, if you had a, a, a polo shirt that said Ralph Lauren, I don't know, it just said something. But now it's kind of like one of those, well, you know, not really anymore. And, but TJ Maxx seemed to carry a lot of Ralph Lauren. So I just kind of thought, you know what, I, I'm... I love the color of the purse and I love the style of the purse, but I just wasn't feeling the purse, if you know what I mean. So I was still kind of like on that quest trying to find the right purse. Well, I ended up going to San Marcos Outlet. And if you all are familiar with the San Antonio area or just outlets in general, I mean, they're not just here, but um, I went out to the outlet mall. And again, I will mention, I love myself some Brahmin bags. And um, the, I've had two, a crossbody one that I sold and I cannot believe I sold that bag. And then I have a black one that I have shared with you all on YouTube. So I walked in there kind of randomly. I um, actually didn't even think about where I was going. Uh, I was kind of walking around at the outlet mall and I saw the store and I thought, you know what, let me walk in there. And oh my goodness, I found the perfect bag for me for right now anyway. And um, so in the interim, I met a very, very nice young lady uh, initially when I went in there. And unfortunately, I did not get her name, but I think she's going to be watching my channel. So hello, sales representative from um, the Brahmin's outlet store in San Marcos. I love you so, so much. And 
Thank you for sharing and talking with me. I had a great time with you the other night, but um, she and I kind of visit a little bit and uh, touch bases on purses and different little things. And um, I ended up having to leave and come back and uh, she held the purse for me and I went back to get it. And then I think this may have been her manager or a supervisor or someone that was in the store at that point that I didn't see before. And I want to say hi to you as well. And of course, I didn't get your name either. So shame on me for not doing that. But if anyone from the Brahmin Outlet uh, store manager, upper management or whatever, if you're listening to this video or whatever, I just want to say you have two great employees working for you. They were great salespersons. They were very friendly, very personable. I was the only person in the store, but they made me feel great. And I enjoyed conversating with both of them. We talked makeup. We talked YouTube and school and, and we just had a blast. So, um, yeah, they were great, great ladies. And I just want to say hi, hi, hi again. I enjoyed talking to you all so, so much. But anyway, so they were having a big sale and I had intended on doing this video a little bit earlier to tell you all about the sale in case you wanted to go in and make a purchase. However, I have been suffering so bad with allergies as I have posted on, I think, Instagram. And I did do a YouTube video, kind of like a iPhone post um, that wasn't, a, you know, it's just kind of like a random uh, video posting that I did setting outside last week, week before last, I was actually out for four days from work with the crud and then it's uh, kind of like ran into sinus after that. So unfortunately I did not feel like, or could I not even speak well enough to feel like I could come on YouTube and do a video. So unfortunately you probably have missed that sale, but they did have an extra 30% off of their red ticketed items and then 15% off of the white ticketed items, which meant everything in the store was basically on sale. So, um, and a little bit of a tidbit that I did not know about the Brahman outlet store is that the, the bags that you see in the outlet store are not um, of a different, they're not purchased or built or made for just the outlet purposes. They are actually the Brahman regular bags that go to the dealers, the Macy's or, you know, anywhere that sell Brahman bags but they are a year behind. I learned that little tidbit from the sales representative that works there. So she knows her stuff. So I was very impressed by that. So anyhow, um, I ended up having her to hold a bag for me because I had intended to go to the Michael Kors store, but um, I ended up not going because I kind of thought about it and I was like, you know, I'm a real big fan of those Brahman bags and I really, really like that bag. And I had wanted one this color before it, and it kind of like I ended up going into my Louis Vuitton bag and just kind of forgot about it. So anyhow, you're probably wondering, okay, girl, stop with the talking and show us your bag. So here is my bag. I love this bag. It is so freaking gorgeous. Is it or is it not? Like, I love it. I think it's a beautiful bag. And here is my little, the little Brahman emblem that is on all Brahman bags. And um, yeah, so the bag has a pocket in the front. And what I like about the pocket in the front is, is that the pocket actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. Um, a very big plus for me. I don't like those little short pockets where if you put stuff in it, they kind of ooze them way, their way out. And so it's great for sticking my cell phone down inside. It's just a great pocket. It's nice and big. It opens up pretty wide, as you can see, and um, inside is just a little bit of the same leather, and then it goes into the cloth material a little bit further down. And as you can see, it has two hand held handles, and of course, it has the gold hardware. And this was something we had a conversation about. And if anyone from Brahman happens to see this video, have you all ever considered making any of your bags with the um, silver um, hand, uh, hardware versus the gold. I mean, I love your bags. Don't get me wrong. And I love the gold, but I also would love to have a nice bag with a silver, um, with silver hardware. So just a little, you know, like, uh, FYI, um, customer's behalf. And actually the young lady at the store had mentioned that she's noticed that as well. And she's had people ask that same question. So I'm, there may be a reason why you all don't, and it may be on your website. I don't know. But I'm just asking because I just want to know. Um, but yeah, so anyway, um, it has a long strap, which, um, okay, my phone is hanging from, I put my phone on charge and my phone got caught up in my purse bag handle there. But it has a long strap on it. <clears throat> now, I did notice something about this bag and I 
want to check my black bag to see and I'm losing my voice so I apologize I'm gonna sound a little bit scratchy and I don't think I have anything to drink let's see there's a little bit in there <clears throat> but what I noticed <clears throat> excuse me I am so sorry what I noticed is that on the strap one side of it has holes let's see it has one two three four holes and on the other side of it it only has two holes is that typical I'm not sure I'm gonna check my other bag and the reason why I asked is because it kind of looks a little bit weird that you have like a short strap and then you have like a long if you want to like raise up the strap and that may be typical but that may be like a signature look of the Brahmin bag I don't know I guess I'd never noticed it my black one to be honest with you um, the strap was at a it was like a shorter strap and it had like the like the little shoulder pad thing there so I didn't have to like shorten it or anything and this one was super duper long so I did have to go in and shorten it and that's when I noticed that it had extra holes on one side and only two on the other so I have to check that out I don't know if that's like a defect or if that's really the way they're supposed to be and I I'm assuming that's the way they're supposed to be I guess I just never noticed it about the Brahmin bags but of course this is a removable strap and like I said, I did raise mine. So on this side, you will notice that it's raised up to the, uh, I believe the second one, I think. Yeah, I think it's the second one. And then this one is on its first one or maybe, yeah, it's on the first one still. Or this one only have the one. Okay. No, I'm sorry. This one's on the second one and this one's on the third one. My apologies. But yeah, so I did have to shorten the strap a little bit because otherwise, because I do tend to carry my bags more this way than any way at all. So it was kind of like hanging on the floor and I didn't like that aspect at all. So of course I shortened the strap. Now to uh, look at the bottom of my bag, it has the four gold legs on the bag, which of course I like that aspect about bags. I do try so hard not to ever set my bags on the floor but there are occasions where I'm kind of forced and I have no choice. So in that, at, uh, when I do have that occasion, I do feel more comfortable knowing that my bag is not setting down on the Jeremy floor. It's actually setting on some legs. So my leather is a little bit more protected. And then what I do like about this bag is that it does open up. Okay, I'm trying here, ladies. Okay, it is. it has the double zipper that can open both ways, but I tend to always just carry one over because I just forget that, you know, it kind of can open up right down the middle. And um, both on the zipper handles, it does say uh, Brahman on each one of the handles. So the word Brahman are on both handles there. And then when you open it up, if you zip it all the way down, it has a pretty big opening, as you can tell, and that's all my crap that's on the inside. And it is a, um, it's a steady bag. It's not, um, it's not one that's going to fall over. It's pretty, it's, it's a stiff bag. It's not super stiff to where, like, it doesn't move at all. Like, it will kind of bend with your body, as you can tell, as I push into the bag. But it is a little bit more steady of a bag, so it doesn't kind of, excuse me, I'm sorry, my allergies are just going to bug me today, and I apologize. But so it doesn't just kind of slouch over. It's, it, you know, it's a pretty steady bag. And so let's take a look inside and see what's inside of my bag. Um, it's pretty organized right now because I really literally just started carrying the bag. So it, I haven't had a chance to totally mess it up yet. But as you can tell on the inside, um, I do have two pockets. Uh, wait, okay. Two pockets over here. I have a longer zipper and a short little small uh like a, a, a mini zipper pocket over here and then the rest is kind of like an opening on the inside now I will say one of the things that I don't like about this bag is is that I noticed that these two pockets are short and I think carrying my Louis Vuitton because the pockets were so deep on the inside of that bag I guess I and I'm I'm kind of questioning now are all the pockets on these bags somewhat short like that and I just never noticed it because Oh, it didn't seem an issue until I had extra deep pockets and now I'm back to the norm, if you know what I mean. But so when I put things like my glasses inside the bag, and I mean, I'm sorry, inside the pocket, it tend to uh, kind of set up. I don't know how well you can see, but see, it doesn't 
I mean, I mean, I still have room. It doesn't get caught on the zipper or anything when I close it, but I feel like it's kind of setting up and I don't like that as much, but it's okay. So speaking of that pocket, I do have my reading glasses inside that pocket. And um, I got these reading glasses, by the way, from Kirkland's. I love these reading glasses. I kind of like turned on several people at my job about these glasses. And one of the guys bought his wife a pair. And then one of my coworkers, she was like, the next time you go to Kirkland's, can you pick me up a pair? They're just super cute. They have like kind of like stripes on the side. And these are the black frame ones. And I have like, I think three pair of them. And I, I love them so much. And then in my next pocket, I just have my business card holder for work, which I... Um, don't really give out a lot of my business cards from work, but I do also have some other business cards from other people that I like to contact. And then I have some gum and I have some hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works that I enjoy the scent so much. And then I don't know if you noticed, but there is a little pocket that is for a um, ink pen and I have a pen in the pocket and I'll just stick that back in there. And, uh, and then on the uh, inside the the little zipper, I have my headset for my iPhone, and I have, oh, this is actually the tag for the Brahmin bag, and we'll talk about that in just a second. And then um, I have a pair of hand clippers, and this is kind of like a little small fingernail file and a little small knife. And it's so funny because my mother used to carry something like this in her bag all the time. And I would laugh at her. I'd be like, Mom, why do you need all that stuff in your bag? And she'd go, you never know what you might need, baby girl. And it's funny. I have turned into my mother because I feel naked if I don't have this in my bag. And I have used it a couple of times. So I, you know, I guess it came in handy, so to speak. So I'm going to kind of stuff those things right, right back into that little pocket and zip it up. Now I'm going to move over to the other pocket, which the other pocket is a much deeper pocket. It's more of your standard pocket um, that you will have in pretty much any purse that you could carry. And um, on my lips today, I am wearing the Flower Bomb, which um, I bought this like when flower, the Flower Bomb first came to Walmart. And I love this lipstick. And it's so funny because I kind of, you know, you move on to the next lipstick. And I pulled this out the other day and I've worn it several times since I pulled it out. So I'm really, really loving it. I don't remember the color because if I remember correctly, I think the actual color names are only on the paper. And of course, I know I don't have the little plastic thing that went around it, but it is LS7. And it's kind of a, a peachy tone color. It's a very, very pretty color. I have a little bit of my um, lip pencil on, on the lipstick tube there. But yeah, I do like that color. And again, I do have that on my lips right now. And I do have it with the pencil, and this is called Too, uh, too Rustic, I think is what I what it was called. Um, no, Too Rust, rust, rust what is it? Russet. Yeah, Too Russet. Okay. And that's what that looks like. And I really like this pencil. It's so funny because when I first got it, I used it all the time. And then I moved on. So again, it's so funny how you can really like something and then all of a sudden, you know, you're like moving on to the next thing. But I like these two as a combination together. I just think they kind of, the, the lighter peach color kind of give my lips a little bit of a springy look. And this one kind of like tames it down a little bit. So it kind of like they work very well together. And then what else is in this pocket? I do have a checkbook that I don't per se carry a checkbook um, holder, but um I've gone to a couple of places sometimes where my debit card wouldn't work because of craziness or whatever. And so I typically would normally just pull out a couple of checks and stick them inside my wallet. But I hadn't done that. So I had the whole checkbook inside my um, purse. And then um, some other things that's inside this wallet is a uh, or this pocket, I should say, is a fingernail file. And I can't leave home without one of those. And I have a little pack of crystal lights. I actually love this stuff. This one's the Fruit Punch. I do try to carry these, um, have these, um, and I'm trying to kind of stay away from sodas as much. So I've been trying to keep one of these handy. And then I got this as a free gift from Ulta the other day when I was doing some of their 21 Days of Beauty, which I missed out on the eyeshadow palette from Lorac. And I cannot believe that I did. I'm so angry at myself. Long story. Don't get me started because I'll get angry all over again. But I can't be angry at anyone else but myself. So, hey, there you have it. But this was given as a free gift with purchase that day. 
And I think I got um, some nail polish that was from Butter London. And I do actually want to take that back and exchange it because I didn't like it after I got it home. But um, this is from Laura, Laura Gell Geller. Yeah. And um, I do like this a lot. I don't know that I would ever go out and purchase it. It's just a black and it's a waterproof eyeliner. I don't think I would go out and purchase it, but for a free gift, I like it and I enjoyed using it. So I am going to keep this one in my purse as a backup as to whenever I might need to touch up my eye makeup. And this is all, uh, something else that's always inside my purse. And this was given to me by a customer and his name is pretty much rubbed off of it, but he has a foundation business here locally in San Antonio. So um, if you ever need any foundation work, um, he's definitely a great guy. And I will put his phone number in the description bar so that if you are in the San Antonio area and you need some uh, foundation work done, he's definitely a, a sweet, honest man. And I do like him a lot. So he would welcome the business. But it's just kind of like a little screwdriver set. And it has come in handy. So again, having these little tools, you just never know what you might need. Um, so yeah, so that's in the pocket as well. And then I um, have my Tom Ford lipstick. And this is, um, I don't remember which color this one is. Um, what is it? I don't remember. Something sable. But anyway, um, I, I can't see it because my eyes are getting so bad. But that's what this looks like. And it's one of my favorite lipsticks. It's a very neutral color. And I tend to carry this in my, my purse a lot because I pay so much money for it. I definitely want to get all the use of it I can. And then, is there anything else down in there? And let's see, I have a friend's keychain um, for their car. And um, I have a Band-Aid. And then I have some Mary Kay lotion that I, I like this lotion, by the way. I like it, A, because it's unscented and um, it's just a good lotion to have. And it's a good size to carry in your purse. And then I have, um, this is from... Um, what is it? Bite Beauty. This is their lip mask and you can't really tell because it's like totally rubbed off all the writing off the uh, entire tube basically. But I do really, really like this lip balm. It um, doubles as a mask or a lip balm and I've had it for quite a while. It was like $26. So it's quite pricey, but I do like it a lot. And so um, I would say definitely it was something I would repurchase. So I do like that a lot. And um, one of the things that I think I may have missed, that's all that's in that pocket. But let me look back over here in the other pocket. Oh, I did miss it. This is my little square, <clears throat> excuse me, that I use on my iPhone. And I was using this at my part-time job. But of course, um, I don't know how much use I'll get out of it now. But of course, I'm going to keep it in my pocket or my purse because, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> you never know um, when it could come in handy if someone needed to pay me for something or whatever. I can actually accepted on the credit card and actually my girlfriend and I are going to probably hit the flea market to do some selling of some stuff next weekend so hey this may come in handy then so uh, yeah so that's everything that's in that pocket so now we're gonna move on to the big whole part of the bag deep down on the inside and as you can tell it does again I said it opens up pretty big it's a nice size purse um, and inside of it I have my wallet which is my Kate Spade wallet. And then I have just kind of dropped in there, which I don't know why I don't have that in my pocket, but this is the Bare Minerals and this is their uh, loose powder and this is the translucent powder. And I do like that a lot. And then I have the little tassel that holds your keys. And on the tassel that holds the keys, I have my Gold's Gym membership pass. And then I have, this is a uh, keychain that was given to me from my girlfriend when she went to Florida. Uh, last year, I believe. And then these are just all of my little, you know, um, what do you call these things? The little swipe things to get you points and all that good stuff. And I really need to, and I know there's an app on the cell phone that I can use, but I just haven't done that. So I just kind of keep them hanging in there. And then I have, this is a little coach makeup bag that I have all my personal items in that we don't need to go into, but I keep that inside my purse all the time. And then I have my car keys, which should be actually on the little hook there. But as you can tell, I pretty much got the hook full with other stuff. So my car keys were just kind of thrown down in my bag. And then this little baby holds a lot of cards that um, 
I'm trying to transition out of this. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that yet. I have a couple of things in mind, but I feel like this is kind of heavy and it's getting bulky. It takes up a lot of room in my purse and I'm trying to come up with a different alternative. I kind of want to go with like maybe a makeup bag that's a little bit smaller than this one, like about, you know, like yay long and maybe about the same width that I can put my credit cards in as well as uh, certain receipts that I might kind of need right away or need again and I want to have free access to them. My intention was to use this part, but as you can see how, you know, that's like super, super like um, tight because I have it full with so many cards. So I don't know, but um, yeah, so I have that in my bag and then I have a fortune cookie because I ate at PF Chang's and then I have an inhaler, as I mentioned to you all, I was sick a couple weeks ago, and now the doctor is kind of thinking that I may have allergy-induced uh, asthma. So she gave me an inhaler, and I've had to carry that in my purse now for a while. And then I have one cough drop in my purse. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, wait, no, there's another fortune cookie. <laughs> so I have two fortune cookies in my purse. And so that takes care of everything that's in my purse, and that empties it out. And so as you can see, it's got a good size at the bottom. I mean, it's a good width. It's, you know, it's a pretty neat bag. So I do really, really like the bag. And I think that I'm going to get some great use out of it and enjoy carrying it. But I also want to tell you a little bit more about the um, price of the bag and all that good stuff. Now, I did mention I got it for 15% off. So it sold for $3.45 regular price um, if you were to have purchased it last year at Dillard's or Macy's. And then at the outlet store, they had it for $2.39. And then again, with the extra 15% off, I ended up paying, I think, like $2.03 for it, if I remember correctly, was the total after the tax and everything. So that's the um, tag for it. And then, of course, it does say Brahman. And this bag is called the um, Camden Satchel. And the color is toasted almond. And, of course, it's genuine leather. So and if you are interested in the, uh, in the purchases of this bag, this is the number. I will kind of, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but hopefully you'll be able to see the number that um, you can go and online and maybe order the bag or you know get it from an outlet store and I'll also put that information in the description bar as well so yeah so that is my new purchase for uh, now I mean um, my new bag I guess I should say I am enjoying it so far I have carried it now for a couple of days and I have truly truly enjoyed carrying the bag I think it's a nice bag so uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I like totally lost my chain of thought right there for just a minute. But again, I hope you all are having a great Easter and uh, we'll see you in my very next video. Bye-bye.